Hey, good morning from Walla Walla, Washington. Early Saturday morning out here in the shack that is also a mini museum. <laughs> now, the best work holding device I found for the Monarch 10 E lathe, anyway, is uh, a four jaw chalk. And uh, it's better than a three jaw chalk, scroll chalk, it's got those moving parts. The uh, 5C chalks, uh, uh, woggle a bit and I can demonstrate some of that uh, right right away let's have a look we'll go by the old axle sound I got a rack of 5c collets up there and over here I have a 3 8 hardenge 5c collet out of Rob's junk box so and let's play with that collet now, since it's uh, an old collet, let me make sure you can see. Um, I'm going to take and uh, I've actually done this a couple times because I've been flubbing up the videos with my crappy equipment and it's getting better. So I'm taking a, a, an Arkansas stone and I'm just, you know, knocking the burrs off here where it mounts. It's, you can feel them. And you can see them, okay? So I'm taking that little stone where that thing contacts most. And this is good for your holding devices too to make sure you're not sticking a collet in there with burrs on it. Okay, so that feels good. I run it over the shank here, the straight portion. Make sure there's no nicks or anything. And get that uh, keyway, okay. No, no, I got a rag here. Got a little kerosene on it. I uh, wiped Rob's grinder down with kerosene. He's not used to it, and he thought the shop might explode from the fumes. But uh, I uh, generally have gotten used to it and kind of like the smell of kerosene. Okay, I got some number six uh, spindle oil here. I'm just going to put some on there. And on those threads. Okay, I'm going to grab that rag and I'm just going to smear it around and have a thin coat of oil on that, okay? Very thin. Don't worry about it on the threads, got it on my fingers. Okay, then I'm going to make sure this is clean, okay? Now, this is a, a call it adapter in this brown... Uh, this uh, Cincinnati work head here and I ground it in place with an internal spindle angled the head and then ground the 5c mounting tape okay I got the uh, drawbar closed and then here's a piece of uh, I guess this is ejection pin material seems to be pretty round from Rob's uh, junk boxes okay drill blanks usually work pretty good too hardened drill blanks this is some kind of a hardening ground uh, rod okay I got that pretty true tight I don't know about true but it's truly tight Okay, right out on the end here, how much run out we got? Almost two thousandths of an inch. We'll get it back in here close. Oh, that's good. Look at that. About a, qu uh, a quarter of one thousandths. So I'm going to pull this back. Okay. And I'm going to get it on the high spot right there. And I'm going to pull on it. Yeah, it wants to pop back. So I'm going to take the one-eyed hammer. You've seen them. They're special. And I'm going to pull on that just a little bit and give it a tap. 
Let's see what happened. Mm -hmm. no. It's better. Okay, we'll do it again. About a quarter thou. Okay, let's see if we get just a little better. <laughs> I probably made it worse. I did, I think. Just a little worse. Okay, try it again. I'm pulling down on it. You can see, see? That's almost dead true. Let's move it to here. You see a climb? Well, because I didn't actually level this head. Dead true. Okay, you guys have a good day. I'll be back at Rob's shop.